So this morning we're going to go to somewhere quite special that an awful lot of boaters don't go to. We're all going off by car to the Shannon Pot. Come on along with us. So the Shannon Pot is the reputed and disputed source of the River Shannon. It's near the town of Blackline in County Cavan. It's in a very rural spot, although it is well signed posted nowadays and there's actually a decent car park there and a good concrete path all the way down to the water's edge. Well, we actually finally got to the Shannon Pot. We did. And it's, a, it's an amazing spot, this. And it's a spot that's been of huge religious and cultural significance for the likes of the Druids and for the Celts. Um, the ancient Celts believed that the Shannon Pot was actually bottomless. And if you read the notices here, it'll tell you that they're nine meters deep. Wikipedia, it, uh, it tells of two guys who died this in, I think, 2008. And they went down the nine meters. They were able to move some branches and trees that had fallen in, moved them out of the way, and they went down a further, for, uh, further and 14, that, 14 and a half meters they, they went. So it is a significantly deep. And this is where the well, salmon and knowledge is supposed to be. Isn't that's it? right. On Broad on, on yeah. And the reason for that is that the Celts believed that the spirit world lived underground and when you think about that it kind of makes a bit of sense because as any um, animal or vegetation dies it is, is absorbed back into the ground and that's what they believed that the spirits of their ancestors all lived below ground and that they were the source of all knowledge and they believed that this um, pot was a bottomless pit that it went completely down and I it was say, like I'm pure nervous standing <laughs> <laughs> in case you fall in in case you fall in yeah <laughs> but, um, but they, they, they believed that this was a, a, a bottomless um, void and it was also a portal between this world and the spirit world so this would have been a huge site of religious and cultural significance that the, the Celts would have come to this spot to try to communicate with their their relatives and of course on broad on Fassa, the salmon of, of knowledge, knowledge yeah. is reputed to have dwelt in the pool here and as we're standing here it's occasionally splashes <laughs> yeah. so yes. maybe the salmon of knowledge is still in there and then um, the river shannon gets his name because of this very pot where the princess shanoa who was the granddaughter of lear he was the celtic god of the sea she came to this spot because she wanted to eat the salmon of knowledge because it was believed that if you ate the salmon of knowledge you would gain all this knowledge that the spirits had and she came to this spot the gods were not happy the legend goes that the waters rose up and they drowned her and in rising up they formed the great river shannon which to this day bears her name did St. Patrick have a connection as well here, didn't he? He did. The, uh, the, one of the most well-known legends of I I Irish legends is that St. Patrick uh, drove all the snakes out of Ireland. But it's reputed that seven serpents escaped. And that they came here to the Shannon Pot and that they live in the Shannon Pot and that they grew to an enormous size and they found huge fangs. And oh, okay. <laughs> I, would have, I would imagine it, it, it was probably a tale that was there to discourage people from coming, up here to the <laughs> from coming into yeah. the, going into the water here. But, uh, but like old poets and um, artists of past used to come to the Shannon Pot to drink the water yeah. because they believed, again, that they would get that knowledge. Like the, all through history or through Celtic times, there's been this story of knowledge i mean the druids had nine hazel trees planted around the pot because it's they're a long gone, circular pot they? oh they're well long gone but they nobody was allowed to eat the fruit of those hazel trees okay because it was it's almost like that biblical tale of the the forbidden fruit the fate hazels were allowed to fall into the the pot where they would sink down and the salmon would eat the hazels he was the only one allowed to eat them this is again our salmon of knowledge <laughs> and salmon of knowledge is a great man oh altogether, wonderful isn't fellow he? altogether <laughs> and uh, then uh, he, the hazels accounted for the red spots on the skin of the salmon okay yeah, yeah. Another very, very uh, educational, oh, educational yeah. afternoon. Of course, of course none, none of it is actually true. But <laughs> You're a great storyteller. <laughs> but it's a story, and the, the, the story is sometimes better than the facts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer to believe that the, that the Shannon Pot is a bottomless pit and oh. it does go to a spirit world rather than the scientific answer that actually it's 14 and a half meters deep. <laughs> but the other interesting thing about the Shannon Pot is that this is the only place in the whole length of the River Shannon and from here it travels 280 so, kilometres to the sea at Limerick 
and it, like, it's bigger than any other river in Ireland. It's also bigger than anything in the United Kingdom. Is it's, it? It's an enormous oh. river. It's a fantastic uh, river and it's, it, it is started heavy. at this point here and that this is the only place where a man can jump across the River Shannon. And are we going to try, well, are you going to try it? I'm going to try it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to try it today because the river, the water is okay. actually quite high. We, we've been here before and the water was a lot lower. And um, there is literally, it's only in the first few meters of this that you have any chance of jump, jumping across. I might have a go at it because it wouldn't it be a great when I dine out in it for a while yes, to, be able to would, say yeah. I jumped across the River Shannon. And I will actually take a photograph, all right. We'll have to we'll have to record it for prosperity and we'll see yeah. what happens. The first bridge across the River Shannon is this one here, it's about forty or fifty metres from the actual path okay. itself. So this is the first bridge on the Shannon and Dowra is the first town on the Shannon yeah. and Limerick is the last city on the Shannon. True. There's a lot of places in between, obviously. Yeah. So it would be the new bridge, the Whistling Bridge in Limerick would be the last bridge yes, across the Shannon. Yeah. So we're and going this is from this is the, the first very one. first one. And then we have done the last one. Right. Oh, that's interesting. That's, that's true. how we've crossed except every we, bridge. Except we haven't, we haven't gone under this one. <laughs> oh, no, and I'm not going under it either. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know whether you can see in the background here, it says, I'm broad on Fassa. That was, I'm broad on Fassa was the fish. Um, Irish for the salmon. The salmon of knowledge. knowledge. <gasps> see? So We're learning loads of stuff today. Got to be true. <laughs> hey, we better get the fishing rods out and see if we catch a salmon. Yeah, come on then. <laughs> I thought I'd show you this once more just to give you an opportunity to appreciate the athleticism and gazelle-like manner in which I bound across the River Shannon. <laughs> across the mighty Shannon. <sighs> Subscribing to the Driftwood Boat Blog is absolutely free. All you do is you go to YouTube, in the search bar, type in Driftwood Boat Blog. And up the top there you'll see the Driftwood Boat Blog logo, just click on that and that brings you to our channel and to over 100 videos. If you click the subscribe button, click the bell, tick all, you'll get a notification every time we bring out a new video and you'll also be helping the channel. Thanks for subscribing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, it was a nice bit of mixture of a bit of antics and fun and a little bit of the, the the history but it's just lovely to see the Shannon Pot it's, it's surprised me to see it. it's actually only about 14 meters wide perfectly circular and it is quite amazing to think that the river rises there and travels further 280 kilometers. It was a lovely day out actually though and it is it's not that far from Black Line. Black Line in, yeah we're Dower, actually, about 20 yeah. minutes from Dower. It's lovely now I have to say. Um, and we're in the county of Cavan. Are we in Cavan? We yeah. are in county Cavan indeed we are. So listen guys, thanks a million for watching and I hope and you enjoyed it and if you've subscribed to the channel guys channel, thank you very very much for doing that and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah. So until the next time, cheerio!